So we have more updates on the Race to World First drama. First off, we have the official Yoshi P statement, and of course, he gave the disappointed dad speech. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read the whole thing, but I'm just going to go over a few bullet points. He opens with stating that they are indeed opening an investigation. I mean, that's to be expected. Shouldn't be too hard of an investigation because it's right there. He then goes on to say that the players using the third party tools will be punished. Now we have no way of knowing if all players were using hacks and I'm not sure if they'll just do a blanket ban or just look into every player individually. And on a side note, he talks about how the clear cut scene for top was apparently leaked ahead of time. I had no idea this even happened, but obviously against TOS, Apparently they found the person who did it and they're being punished. Also, it looks like there's another internal leaker at Square who has been linking details of the ultimate. Apparently this is nothing new. A lot of details like Gunbreaker and Dancer apparently got leaked for Shadowbringers. It still sucks, especially in this game. Hopefully they can figure things out. And in his conclusion, he states his personal disappointment and that in his mind, they did not actually win the race to World First, which is actually a perfect transition into talking about the legitimacy of the win. There is no official format for the race to World First. It's all community rant. There's even a charity stream ran by Mog Talk that I'll leave a link to. Now, the upside of all of this being community ran is the community can just kind of declare it illegitimate. I didn't say it, I declared it. So yeah, whoever is the first to clear it without a NASA satellite or equivalent is the real winner. There was also a lot of clips I saw of people like Arthurs who were really sad that they lost before they found out about the actual cheating. And it goes to show, a lot of people like to take this seriously. They spend hours doing this stuff, even for like charity. It's upsetting to see the effects this has on the actual competitors so hopefully they still have a good time doing the race now there's one last thing i want to go over who actually leaked the footage of the zoom hack and while nothing is known for 100 percent certainty we do have some speculation credit to this reddit post link in the description for the following information the account that posted it i believe on twitter was translated to be something like divine punishment and was created the day before so the theory is that there was a ninth member that was upset at the group for whatever reason, and like some kind of specter of justice, they raised their fist upon the team. And now we've heard from the team and they've stated that everyone's on good terms. And in fact, someone had unauthorized access to the YouTube channel that posted it and it was effectively leaked. So it sounds like the whole specter of justice speculation is false, much to my dismay. But all in all, I got to hand it to the team here. Top tier content top tier drama, not to mention the countless memes produced. So the race continues. Remember, we still do not know what the last phase is, at least at the time of recording this. So enjoy it.